Four years ago, one of my friends came to me talking badly about herself. She had always been shy and felt unworthy. I wanted to do something to help her. The journey of improving low self-esteem can be a difficult one, so I decided to help her through it. We began with trying to find what causes low self-esteem. After some research, these are the five main causes that I found. Number one, you're always negative about yourself. Perhaps you want to try out for a sport, but you skip it because you think you won't make it to the team. Feeling down on yourself is a huge sign of low self-esteem, and it can hold you back from living your life to the fullest. This can lead to stress and anxiety. Number two, you have a negative self-image. Possibly, you look in the mirror and you may think you're not pretty or handsome. You might feel like others look better than you. These thoughts can hurt the perception of yourself. Number three, you're overly apologetic. Was there a situation where you did nothing wrong, but yet you still apologize to people like you did something? Do you also apologize to avoid conflict, even when you don't agree with the other person? It's important to think about what you're apologizing for and when to do so. This can be another issue. Number four, you avoid new things. Maybe because you fear making mistakes or being foolish. Maybe you think the problem feels too big. Keep in mind that the more you avoid something, the more anxious and fearful you become. And lastly, number five, you strive for perfectionism. Perhaps you think that your work needs to be perfect in order to feel competent. You use perfectionism to feel accomplished. However, you give up starting that work because you have a fear of failure and embarrassment. Although these causes might be difficult to overcome, it is not impossible to do so. We need to remember that it is not a weakness, but a skill that we need to improve. Here's a quote that I really liked. It's not what you are that holds you back. It's what you think you're not. This quote by Dennis Whitley is so meaningful because it tells you that people often focus on their weaknesses instead of their strengths. And sometimes you can't be where you want to be because that fear and low confidence makes you fall behind on something you want to achieve. This quote can remind you to focus on positive things. Once my friend and I found the causes, we were able to find strategies that might help improve her self-esteem. I think they really helped her, so I hope they help you too. Even if you don't have low self-esteem, these five steps will help you in day-to-day -day life too. Step one, be happy with who you are. This step is important because it is the first step to be confident in yourself. It might seem hard to do, but each person is unique. Embracing and loving every part of yourself is crucial in our journey to an improved self-esteem. This can be done by something as simple as looking at yourself in the mirror and complimenting yourself. Step two, remove toxic people from your life. Spend time with people who make you feel happy and confident about yourself. Surround yourself with the right people and don't waste your time with the people who don't treat you well. There were a lot of toxic people in my life, but I realized that they don't treat me well and that I'm wasting my time with them. So I removed them out of my life and I noticed a big change within myself. Step three, don't compare yourself with others. Comparison often leads to a negative self-image, which can lead to low self-esteem, stress, and anxiety that can ruin your physical and mental health. Step four, take care of yourself. Doing simple things like taking a shower, brushing your hair, wearing clean clothes, eating right, and exercising regularly will help you feel better about yourself and improve your mood. Step five, do things you love. Maybe it could be exercising, doing yoga, baking, singing, or drawing. Doing what you love makes you feel more engaged with yourself and feel confident. Personally, I enjoy doing meditation because it helps me relieve stress have a good mood and stay positive. Remember this quote. Again, low self-esteem is not a weakness. It is a skill that we need to improve. I hope this was helpful and you use some of the steps I share. Thank you.